Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the RESTful tutorial series. In some of our previous videos, we tried to test our web service from the browser either by hitting some URL from the address bar or posting a form from an HTML code or calling the web service from the JAX call. Now we can call the web service from the Java code also. For that we need to write one Java client and in this video we'll look into how to create a Java client to call the web service. We'll use the jersey specific classes to create the client. For this uh, we'll create one dynamic web project called client project and in this project we'll create one JSP, one servlet in JSP, we'll have two input boxes and one submit button. When we hit the submit button, it will actually trigger the servlet. And the idea is to call the web service or write the client code inside the servlet. Let's create one client project. Let's create one JSP file. Make the title as get user detail. Let's have one form. Right now we are not using these fields, the name and email, but in subsequent videos we'll definitely use these fields. So let's have them in place. Let's create one servlet inside the same project. We'll name it as client servlet. Now here inside do post method, we'll have our client code. Now before uh, writing the client code, we need to put the jersey uh, jar files in webinf lib because we will be using jersey specific classes. So I have it here, all the jar files. Okay, so we have the jar files uh, also. Now let's write the uh, code for the web service client here.
first we need to create one client object we have a client class they have one method create using that we can create one client object now when we create one client object what happens it creates a default client handler and default client config uh, inside it and the default client handler is a URL connection client handler that means that it internally uses HTTP URL connection object to make the service call then it exposes one method called resource takes one URL we will provide the web service URL which we want to invoke this is the web service URL it, will, it points to the get user method of the uh, resource class okay so this is the web service URL users slash service slash get it will take us to the this class and then this method okay so this is the URL and it returns a web resource object now what this method does it creates one web resource object and passes this URL to this object and it also passes the client object to the web resource object so the web resource object internally has everything it has the client config which was created by the client object it has the uh, client handler so web resource has everything uh, which which is needed to make a call now using this web resource object we can do so many things so this is our actually important object we can we can set HTTP request header parameters we can set cookies we can set HTTP request methods and uh, and we can get the response back uh, so we'll use those methods here import the class okay so has one get method now this get method what it does it sets the HTTP request method as get and then it hits this URL and gets the response back now we can specify uh, how to accept the response so there is one uh, jersey specific wrapper class known as client response class so we would like to accept the response in this class so what it does get method it, it invokes this URL gets the response back wraps it around this client response object and returns us one client response object import the package now using this response object we can get the HTTP response status we can get the response body also using the uh, get entity method so response object has one get status method I will 
and just use this here. If this set is equals to 200, then get the body of the response. For that, we have to use the get entity method. You have something called get entity method. Now, in this get entity method, again we need to specify uh, in which uh, in which class we want to accept the uh, the response body. So in this case I am accepting it in a string. So let's provide it as a string. So it will return us the output in a string. Right now our method is actually not returning anything so we won't get anything but, but we'll be able to hit the web service and uh, we'll, we'll be able to see this log statement so that means that we are able to call the web service from our client. Okay, so now the web resource object has uh, some other method like accept by which we can set the accept HTTP header parameter. So text slash HTML we can put. And similarly for setting different HTTP request methods we can call uh, put, post, delete like that. So it has all those methods. Now let's build this. and run the client Okay, so we can see that it is able to hit the web service and we got the log statement here. So in an overview what what we need to do, we need to create one client object and using the resource method we need, we'll get the web resource object and web resource object exposes so many methods for setting different parameters. So we can use like accept, we can use like get, put, post, delete, all those and then we can get the status response status from the get status method and we can get the response body using the get entity method here entity uh, means the response okay so this is the way we write the client code in java for the web service and this is it for this video uh, thanks for watching